Hey friends, it's Melanie with Cedar Grove Farms. It is chilly tonight. I do have my heater on. I just realized I forgot to go turn it off. And so I will go do that in a second if it comes on and makes noise for us. So if you have not joined us before, <clears throat> slow down, I'm talking too fast and messing up my words. This is our Monday night French farmhouse decor live sale. Hey Hannah, as you hop on, say hello so that I know that you're here and so that Facebook will let more people see us. If you have not joined us before, let us know that you're new so that we'll know to watch out for you and welcome you and be sure we answer all your questions. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Rhonda. So this is how this works. I have a numbered list of items. Tonight, I went a little bit crazy. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Kathy. And I have 45 items on here. And I'm going to show you each item, give you a little bit of a description, show you some ways to use it, and then give you a price. If you would like to purchase the item, comment sold and the item number. So if you'd like to purchase item number 28, say sold number 28. If you would like three of number 28, say sold number 28 times three. If you are new, we need your email address because that's how we're going to invoice you. You will scroll down to the bottom, click pay invoice, and we will have your items ready for you. If you need us to ship to you, I like your new diving board. <laughs> Uncle Bill, you and I will talk about that in a minute. Um, yeah, Uncle Bill gets me sidetracked. So... If you need shipping, also send us your shipping address. All right, another thing. We oftentimes find another of an item in the back somewhere, usually it's our vintage items, or um, I pick up one later on in the week or something. So if someone buys something you want it first, comment back up in the number. If for some reason they decide, oh, I only needed two of those instead of three, we're going to let you know. Or if we find something on the shelf that we didn't realize was there, another vintage item that's similar, or I go out and find one, we're going to contact you first. So don't hold back. Otherwise, we won't know that you wanted it. Be sure that you get your item. Okay. Um, had a wonderful time with everyone this past weekend. Thank you for coming out to see us. Hey, Anna. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Becky. Hey, Ellen. I know lots of people went by. Um, had lots of fun with you guys. Our next event is April 7th and 8th, one of our biggest events, the Lavender Garden event. And we have gotten everything in except for our soap. So all kinds of goodies coming up for you for lavender. And uh, a customer asked me today about putting some lavender items in the live sale, and I said I would, and now's the first time I remembered, so I apologize. I'll do something, uh, I'll do a quick live later this week with something lavender to make up for that. All right, so what Uncle Bill's talking about is we had a huge tree fall, and then uh, that one was 65 feet long, and he's saying that's our new diving board because it's really close to the pool, but... This weather's been crazy. Okay, so uh, Bailey is on tonight answering your questions from home. So if I miss your question, Bailey's going to answer you. If Bailey can't answer you, she'll type it in again and she'll get my attention, okay? Because I get rolling in what I'm doing. Kay Dillingham, if you're on here, big hugs to you. Seems like I keep missing you as uh, you're on there and I haven't seen you in three 40 forevers, so missing you, Kay Dillingham. Hey, Heather. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Peg. It's good to see you and Lila this weekend. Hey, Debbie. All right, we are going to get started. At the end, uh, we will go do a tour. Evelyn, I have a question for you. Uh, so be thinking, do you want us to tour the shop or the barn? And tell me at the end. Evelyn, I sent you a message. You had said you wanted a running bunny. I needed to know if it was the flat metal one or the wooden one on the stand. So let me know which one so that I can pull that for you. 
All right, any newbies out there? Also, something I thought that would be fun to do, you guys start typing in, what state are you from? I know, of course, we're gonna have several from Alabama, but let's see what other states are represented. Hey, Lauren from Mississippi. All right, here we go. First up, I put the wrong things on the bottom, so I gotta dig this thing out. Here we go. And I just realized there was something I forgot to do, so there's something I don't have a price on. Uh-oh. We're going to figure it out. Longwood, Florida. Wonderful. Alabama, Georgia. Hey, Miss Linda. All right, so first up is Tennessee. Hey, newbie from Tennessee, Anna. Hey, Miss Jenny. So, item number one. This is our 12-inch square wood and metal pedestal. Ooh, Delaware. Cool beans. So, wood on the top. Metal around the edge and cute little metal feet. This is 12 inch square, gotcha Evelyn. And it is item number one, $58. Okay, so item number two, one of our fun pieces that I love. This is one of our drawer planters, and it says flower garden in French on there. So this is considered a double drawer planter. You see the little glass handles there? So one drawer, two drawer. We also have this in a single and a triple. It is plastic lined, walk around here, I've got bubble wrap in it to hold my stuff up, but plastic lined so that you can take this and uh, put live plants in it or faux plants like we're going to do. I don't think it's strong enough to put water in there for fresh plants, but you could put a little cup in there, but super, super cute. So this is item number two. The French Flower Garden Wooden Double Drawer Planter Box. It is nine inches long by four and a half inches tall, $20. I'm going to put a little bubble wrap in there. Hey, Joyce, to hold up my flowers. That's one of our favorite things because the bubble wrap is clear. Next, I'm going to add item number three. This is our nine inch Idlewood Candle Ring. So it has the little tiny white flowers on there. Isn't that adorable? It is, again, item number three, it is $10. And I am going to take it and squish it down in here. And now it looks like this is growing out of here. No way would you know that that is a candle ring. And I am going to nestle down in there our next item, which is item number four. This is our wooden whitewashed bunny. So he is solid wood. It's more of a lightweight wood. And he's kind of distressed. He's got little bits of gold and gray on him. He is $18. Let's see. I know he's kind of lower quantity. He is seven and a half inch, I guess I shouldn't cover up his face, seven and a half inches tall and seven and a half, seven inches long, 11 of these available, $18. And I'm just going to get him in his little garden there and slide him up front. Then I'm going to add <clears throat> item number well, I guess I should explain. Okay, so you can leave him just as is. I'll bring him in closer. Gonna hold on to him and no bunny mishaps like last week. So super cute, very neutral. Leave him just like he is. Or if we want a little pop of color, I can add in the next item. 
And that is a bundle of our Real Touch Tulips. Fabulous pink color there. These are nine per stem. I have already kind of spread them out for what we're doing. And this is item number five. These are $21.50. Nine in a stem and they're $21.50, item number five. So normally they're gonna be like this and they're gonna be nice and long. I have bent the stem up and Yes, they did. I was wondering if anything would happen to them with all this really cool weather, and they look fabulous. Actually, some of them seem like they've finally grown and gotten taller, but that yellow is just glowing like the sun. Love that. So remember, this was a candle ring that we put in here, so there's a hole in there, and that's what's going to allow us to pop these tulips right in the middle. Then I'm going to spread them out. We know there's nine, so we can get five on one side and four on the other. Then I can nest that bunny back down in there. So we could have left it as is for those of you who don't want the pink. Let me get them in there. And then we want to play with our tulips and get most of them so that we can see them. It's okay to have that one back behind him. There we go. So now we have our bunny and a little pop of pink. So quick recap on what we've done so far. Item number one, 12 inch square wooden metal pedestal, $58. Item number two, the French flower garden is what it says on here, um, flower garden. Double drawer planter, nine inches long by four and a half inches wide, $20. Item number three down in here, is our nine inch Idlewood candle ring, that's $10. Item number four, the wooden whitewashed rabbit is $18, 11 of those available. And item five, we added in the pink tulip bundle. There are nine in the bundle for $21.50. Now let's complete the rest of the vignette. Gonna push that forward a little bit. And we are going to add one of our round top holders. So this is item number six. This is our white wooden round top holder. So you've got a wooden base and a little metal pole that holds one of the round tops. You'll see what that is in just a moment. This is $27.50. And we are going to put it right back here behind the rabbit. And I am going to put on that one of our new round tops. This is item number seven. And this says, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. This is Psalms 139, 14. It is $19. Hey, Paulette. These are our six inch square round tops. And tonight we have some new verses that I'm going to share with you. So this one is item number seven. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And we have two of those available, $19 each. Next up, we have this wonderful cast iron piece. So nice gray Distress cast iron piece, one of these available. This is a vintage piece. It is $19, so we only have one. And if I put that right here, you see it's too low. You can't see it over the rabbit box. I also chose this because we're kind of making an Easter scene, and this, while it's not a cross, it's very similar to a cross goes with our gray box. So now I need something to raise this up, not as high as this, but about right here to get our balance right. So one of our favorite things to use as a riser are vintage books. So I'm going to use, first off, item number nine. This is a 1955 encyclopedia. Last one of these available, it is $7. Chose it because it has that beautiful pink patina. So I'm going to reach back and put my 
metal cross under that and you can see some of that pink sticking out still not quite tall enough so I'm going to add my second book this is item number 10 this is my 1928 second Latin book it is nine dollars and Anna, be sure to let us know your item number. We saw soul, but no item number. And hold on one second. My heater just came on. Let me go turn it off. It will shut off in just a second. Sorry. Okay, and if you don't know the item number, uh, tell me the item, and that'll help us out, okay? So recap on the last few things. Item number, actually, before I recap, let me show you a couple more uh, round top verses we just got in. So we can switch this one out. Another option is item number 11. This one is Isaiah 54, 10. My steadfast love shall not depart from you. So that is another option. And again, that one is item number 11. That one, we only have one available. Item number 12 is Lamentations 3, 23. His mercies are new every morning. So there's that one. Okay, so quick recap on the last few items. Item number six is the white round top holder. That is 2750, item number six. Item number seven is the round top holder. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's $19, two of those available. Item number eight is the cast iron cross. That was $19. I know that one is already sold. Item number nine, the 1955 now pink encyclopedia. One of these available, $7. Item number 10, and here's what they look like stacked up. Item number 10 is the 1928 second Latin book, $9. Item number 11 is the round top verse. My steadfast love shall not depart from you. Isaiah 54, 10, $19, one of those available. And item number 12, the round top print, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalm 139, 14, $19, two of those available. All right, we're going to move all of this aside. Remember to be thinking about where you want me to go at the end if you want to stay in here in the shop or if you want to go in the barn and do a little tour. I bet the next thing up will be the one that I forgot to get a price on. Yes, it is. So, let me... <laughs> I guess I'll just tell you when I get in the barn because there's more in the barn, but I think the other day... I couldn't find it. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry, guys. I told myself I was going to go do it, and then once I... There it is. Nope. Not it. Something very similar. Well, man. I'm sorry. I totally forgot to... It's been Monday all day long, and everything I have touched has been a nightmare. So, here we go again. <laughs> all right, so I apologize. I'm going to show this to you, 
And then we get to the barn, I'll find the other one and give you a price. All right, this is item number 13. It is 32 inches tall, eight inches in diameter. This is a grapevine trellis basket. This is the size small. Can't give you a price for the moment because I'm crazy and it's Monday. And I am building something, of course this could be inside, but I was picturing this as being beside your front door. So I'm going to put in there one of our fabulous clematis leaf plants, or as people not in the South say, clematis. So that's what this is, clematis, clematis. I have already bent it, it's nice and long and trails down to fit in the basket. Thank you, Jane. And loved your sweet note today. I'll have to call you tomorrow. So this is item number 14. The clematis leaf plant is 1050. And so what I'm going to do is open this up, reach inside and start spreading this around. And if this is only going to be seen from three sides, you can get by with one plant. If it's going to be seen from all sides, you're going to need to have two. And just kind of start trailing it around as if it's really alive and growing in this container. And of course, if you wanted to put a real live clematis or ivy or any other kind of trailing plant in here and let it grow up, and see how real that looks? These are the type things they always have for sale in the front gate magazine that are so expensive and they're already made. You can make your own. Now we need some florals in there. So I am going to put in there, first of all, item number 15. This is one of our six inch distressed clay pots. It is $11. And let's see, I'll give you a quick measurement. It is six inches tall and five and a half inches wide. Again, $11. And then I'm going to place in there the tulips that I already showed you. These were item number five. You get nine in a bundle. They're the real touch. They are $21.50. So I have bent two bundles. I bent one a little bit more than the other so that one will stick up above the other because I want to have a little bit more fullness and, or I want to have both fullness and height. Now, once again, this time I'm gonna go in through the back side so that I don't disturb the clematis. Just gonna reach in, put my tulips down in there. So now they got to kind of move our clematis around just a little to get. So now everything is growing in there, right? So what you would do, I have uh, about two feet of some jute twine. Going to reach up and gather it together. And some of these are always going to either be broken already or break. That's just kind of the rules of this game. And I'm going to stretch this around. This is where I need my third hand. Get these little short ones in there. All right, behave. All right, there we go. Nope, one's gonna pop out, that's all there is to it. So keep stretching it around. And we'll give you twine if you want us to. Tie it at the end. You can tie it a couple times to hold it. And now you have this gorgeous plant here. Sorry, I don't have a price on the basket. I'll get you one in a minute. They're all in the barn and I forgot to go in there and get one. 
Then to add to this, we just got in these adorable, now I got myself in a tizzy and don't know where I put my things. Here we go. New metal round top bee stakes. Aren't these adorable? So we just got these in last Thursday and we're already down to only three left. And look at its little iridescent wings. They are absolutely adorable. So this is item number 16, the round top metal bee steak. And it is $12, three of these available. And I am going to, first of all, take this tag off because it's so enormous. You cannot appreciate this cute little bee with a tag that's three times as big as the bee. And I'm just gonna reach in and find a good spot in there. And I've got my little bee. He is fluttering around my basket trying to go in and get to my flowers. How adorable is that? All right, now a picture that this is on one side of your door. This would also be really cute on a mantle. And we're gonna add the other pieces of this. So another thing I would add to this is item number 17. This is our metal finial. It is 16 inches tall and six inches in diameter. Perfect for outside on your porch or indoors. There are four of these available and it is $49. So going to put that on one side. Then on the other side, I want to add one of our Super fat bunnies. Look how fat he is. I mean, tiny head, enormous bottom, big old boy. So he is this wonderful shade of green with bronze peeking out. Love his color. So he is item number 18. He is 11 inches tall and 11 inches wide. He is plaster, so we cannot ship him. I am too afraid that he will chip, and so we will have to say that on him, I'm sorry, he is a pickup only. So he said, come and get me. So item number 18, fat green plaster bunny, three of these available, no shipping. He is $49 gonna put him on the other side. And I'm feeling like, as I look at this, that we need, let me back you up just a hair so you're seeing it. everything. There we go. This needs to be lifted up just a little bit. So I'm going to add this adorable, at least vintage, possibly antique stool. It's got some wonderful blue paint on the bottom layer and then gray that is alligatoring. Alligatoring means that it's cracked, but not peeling off, okay? So this is item number 19. It is $32 and see the difference when I add this cute little bench and what an adorable vignette this makes. Be beautiful out on your front porch. Of course, you could do this in an entryway, split up the different items. So recap on all of this, except for the basket, because it's been a Monday and I have done nothing but chase my tail all day. So this is item number 13, the 32 by eight inch diameter grapevine trellis basket. I will give you a price on it very shortly. Hmm, I don't know, Michelle. Something's gotten off on the time because we are definitely going. <clears throat> then item number 
14 is the schematis leaf stem 1050 item 15 in here the white six inch distressed clay pot eleven dollars the pink tulips we had already used they are item number five you get a bundle of nine for 21.50 item 16 the adorable round top metal bee steak we have three of those available twelve dollars and item 17 the all metal finial is 16 inches tall six inches in diameter 49 dollars four of these available item number 18 the fat green plaster bunny he is 11 inches tall by 11 inches wide and he is 49 dollars three of these available I do not want to ship him because he chips too easily. Then I've got item 19. The gray vintage stool is $32. All right. Jacket's got to come off. Now it's getting warm. We made it up to item number 19. I'll move this aside. Let me know if you have any questions that we did not answer, and we will go back and check. Okay. We are at item number 19. Okay, Mickey, I hope you're watching because this is for you. So, Mickey bought this planter this weekend, and asked me about decorating it. I thought it'd be great to show you guys too because this is one of my favorite pieces. So this is a reproduction of an antique French jardinier. It is absolutely gorgeous. So much incredible detail. See its adorable little feet. Because it's cast iron, it can be indoors or outdoors. You know, a lot of French decor is bringing outdoor items inside. Love putting these outside, getting them all rusty, and then bringing them inside. I'm trying to turn it, but this thing is so heavy. See all the rust on the end? So this is gray or blue based on what other colors you put it with. So if you put it near blue, it's gonna look blue. If you put it near gray, it's gonna look gray. So this cast iron jardinier is item number 20. It is 12 inches long, six inches tall, and four inches wide, four and a half inches wide. It is $69. All my French country girls need at least one jardinier. Yours truly has like eight, maybe 10, who knows? I'm not gonna admit to that, but I do love them. So item number 20, the gray or blue cast iron jardinier, $69. And we're going to decorate it with our rain washed stem. So this is item 21. These are $10. Just gonna bend them just a little bit and flatten them just a little bit. Remember that's one of our requirements. We really like to have florals that have lots of metal in them so that we can bend them and shape them and use them however we want because we wanna take, can almost use one stem for this, but to get it nice and full, we want to get that tucked in and all spread out. The other thing to remember when using greenery like this that you really spread out, it kind of acts like a flower frog and makes it easier to put your florals in and them stand up the way you want them to. So the rainwash stemmed was item 21, $10 per bundle. Then I'm going to start adding these incredible hydrangeas. These are trying to roll off the counter. Such beautiful colors in there. You've got the wonderful cream 
and the pink and right in the center if you put that up to uh, next to anything lavender it will even start to pick up lavender so this is item number 22 you get one single stem and they are five dollars these are kind of low stock so i would definitely get as many as you want we're going to start tucking them in and i want to put them in at an angle and start on one end and you know how I always say I like to kind of work clockwise around? So this time I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna do each end, so two on each end. So I'm trying to get some spacing in there. I'm also, as I'm doing it, pulling up a little bit of the greenery because I want some to be in with the flowers. So now I've got two, four. I'm gonna go back to my clockwise. Five, six, spreading my greenery out, filling in my circle, seven. It's funny how I'm using less this time than I did before. That is eight, if I can get it in there, and nine. Now, love the way this Jardinier color looks with this incredible pink in there. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my greenery, spread it around in there, just reaching through, finding some of the longer pieces, bringing it in. And it's as simple as that, how gorgeous is that so recap on this item number 20 is this gray blue cast iron jardinier 12 inches long six inches tall four and a half inches wide 69 dollars item 21 peeking out here the rain wash stem i used two in this arrangement ten dollars each and item 22 the pink single st stem hydrangea, $5 low stock on this. I used nine. I told Mickey nine or 10. That time I was able to do it with just nine. Okay. Get a quick sip. Now, if we want to take this beautiful standalone piece and turn it into a vignette, we're going to add item number 23 hiding over here our gray open metal lantern so no glass in here so if it blows over oh well no big deal it is hmm 12 let me measure it because i've got one and a half inches tall and we know that that is not correct. My measuring tape has magically jumped off the counter when I cleaned it off. Well, it's Monday. Everything I do is going to be wrong. So, item number 23, gray metal open lantern. It is $56, three available. It is six and three quarters inch square. And it is 21 and a half inches tall. Three of these available. We also have a larger size. Let's see how nicely this goes with the Jardinier. Okay. And inside there, I am going to add item number 24. This is our nine inch rain washed candle ring. Last two of these available, $11. So using that to tie in the rain washed over here. And then I can just add 
a candle in there. Great to do the ones that are um, battery operated. You can just turn it on or have the ones that have the remote and flick a switch and you are all set. Got those two pieces. Now we need our third piece over here. I'm gonna try to back this up. I can tell this is big enough that it's hard for you to see it all. So see if I can get further from the camera. There we go. So now over here on this side, I need something else that's going to balance out the height of the lantern. Needs to be similar, but doesn't have to be exactly the same. And I want the same color family. So I'm going to add item number 25. This is our 17 inch gray standing bunny. He is a resin bunny. He is $70. I'll get him in close for his close up so that you can see him, quite adorable. The lantern is $56, Mickey. So you see that he is quite a bit shorter than the lantern. So I want to raise him up to balance him out. And I'm going to use some books in a similar color family as the flowers to tie all of that together. So I'm gonna add This first one, this is nice kind of beigey brown color. This is item number 27, 1957 Ancient Civilization, $7. Going to put that spine out. You see how that ties in the creams of the hydrangeas and he's even got the same color in his paws as the book but we're still kind of off on getting our height. So we're gonna add one more. This one is item 28, 1939, The Patriot by Pearl S. Buck, also $7. Lift him up just a little bit more. That starts to pick up more of the deeper colors in here. Now we've got our height about where we want it. Could stop right here but I really feel like I want to do something to ground this piece. So I'm bringing in something that I love. This is a antique cutting board. Never seen one with this shape. So see it kind of has the cathedral window shape. And here, instead of being straight, it was cut at an angle. So super cool piece. See all of the age on it. This is something that I probably, you could use it as a cutting board or even a charcuterie board if you put the proper oil on it. But I would love it to use as a riser beneath something or even better behind something so that you see this fabulous curvature. It's just a really neat, one-of-a-kind piece. So this is item number 29, the Cathedral Window Shaped Antique Cutting Board. It is 17 and a half inches by 10 and a half inches, one available $39. So I'm going to use this here as my riser to ground this piece. I'm gonna pull it in there. You see how it warms everything up? Everything's really cool tones, and now it warms it up. The last thing I need over here is one more book to tie all this together. So Jane, this one's for you. This is item number 30 from 1950, The Essentials of Plain Trigonometry, item number seven. Jane, you can try and explain it to me, but I don't know that I'll get it. So. Same color families over here, ties everything together, warms everything up. So recap, I had recapped all of this, so I'll recap everything else. We've got item number 23, the 
the gray metal open lantern, 21 and a half inches tall, six and three quarters inches square. Three of these available, $56. Item 24, the nine inch rain washed candle ring, two of these available, $11. I knew you would know, Jane. <laughs> I definitely don't know. Item number 25, the 17 inch gray standing bunny. He is $70. Item 20, oh, I missed something. And y'all didn't even stop me. I missed a number, hold on. I missed an item. Sometimes when I use items twice, I have it sitting somewhere else. I also was putting a rain wash wreath under the bunny. So this is the wreath size of the rain wash. This was item 26. Let me put the bunny down so I can get my wreath. So item 26 is the 14 inch rain wash wreath, $20. And I'll show you how it looks. I kind of have to say, I think it looks, uh, I like it better without the wreath, but now you know about the gorgeous rainwash wreath and how he would look sitting in it, but I like it better without it, I have to admit. Okay, that got us to item 26. Item 27 on the bottom here, 1957 Ancient Civilization, $7. Item 28, 1939 The Patriot by Pearl S. Buck, $7. Item 29, the Cathedral Window-Shaped Antique Cutting Board. This is 17 and a half inches by 10 and a half inches, $39. And item 30 over here, uh, 1950 Essentials of Plain Trigonometry, $7. Number 26, the Rainwash Wreath price was $20. So $20 for that one. Okay. If I missed any questions, let me know. I'll come back to you. And I apologize, Anna, you're new, and I just can't seem to stop making mistakes tonight. That is the way it is sometimes on Mondays, and sadly, live sales are always on Mondays. And it has been a Monday. Everything I have done has been wrong, backwards, problematic, you name it. But... The day's almost done, and Tuesday will be better, right? No more Monday. I look forward to Monday. I joke. I do. I enjoy my time with you guys. Just wish my head was on straight before Tuesday. All right. There's the missing measuring tape. All right. We are up to item 30. So item 31, I'll tell you a little bit about me. <clears throat> you may not know. I, my degree is English literature. So I am the queen of symbolism. I can find symbolism in everything. That's what I was taught to do in school. So I'm going to build you a very symbolic arrangement for Easter and kind of explain it to you. Sure, you can add more things even than I, but this all came to me today while I was putting this together, so I thought I would. So this is item number 31. This is a wood and metal riser or cake stand, however you'd like to use it. It is 10 inch square, eight and a quarter inches tall. $60. So if I was explaining this for Easter, we have the wood from the cross, the metal for the nails. Then I'm going to add a white grapevine wreath. And this to me, I think of the crown of thorns, even though this isn't thorny. So this is item number 32. One of these available in white. We have others that aren't white that we could paint for you. 
It is $15. I'm gonna put that on here. Then we need that rain wash wreath. That's why I couldn't find it. It was in that vignette. So the rain wash wreath, that was item number 26. It is 14 inches. It is $20. So the rain wash wreath is we are washed white as snow. Okay. Then we are going to add item number 33. And I have hidden it from myself. <laughs> here it is. I have so much stuff back here for live sale. All right, item 33 is the double nest, okay, double nest. And there are six of these available, yes. Double nest, six available, $11. So in Easter, eggs are the symbolism of rebirth, new life, and also the egg being the tomb and Jesus coming out of the tomb could also be a symbolism of the Trinity and us. So all kinds of things you could come up with here. So we're going to prop this up in one side. Then we're going to add item number 34, the blue metal crown. Got your cross on the top and Jesus is the king. Put that here. And Karen Broom, this is all you because you were talking about making these symbolic Easter things. And this is what I came up with today, thinking about what all you had talked about. So see how much I get from you guys. Then last item number 35 is... Can you guess the dogwood stem? So Jesus cross was made from the dogwood tree. And he said that the dogwood tree would no longer grow large enough to make a cross again. So that's why the trees now are spindly and not very tall and small. They have the white blooms, which symbolizes Jesus' purity. So, going to tuck that back in behind. Could get by with one, but I would like to have two. I ran out of time to figure out exactly how I was going to make this stand up, but I would probably do like I did the other day. I'd put a book or something wedged in there to make it stand up, but... A very symbolic Easter display. All right, quick recap on this. Item number 31, the 10 inch square wood and metal pedestal cake stand, eight and a quarter inches tall, $60. Item 32, the white grapevine wreath, $15. Then item 26, we had used already before, the 14-inch rainwashed wreath, $20. Item number 33, the double nest, six of those available, $11. Item 34, the blue metal crown, $40. Item number 35 in the back, the dogwood stem, $10. And that gets us up to item 35. Remove this. Running out of space to put things. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Thank you, Linda. All right, up next. So this is for my boho 
people. Also something very springy and summery looking as well. So this is item 36. This is a whitewashed wicker vase. So this is 13 inches tall. Item 36, it is $41. We are gonna put in there, first off, our Real Touch Lady Fern. So this one, we are at the very end on these and I could not get any this year. These are really nice and thick, Real Touch. They are $11 per stem and there are three of these available. So I've spread it out, I'm gonna stick it down in there you see that takes up quite a bit of space there. So now it's gonna help hold up my flowers. I'm going to add this gorgeous bunch of peachy pink hydrangeas. There are one, two, three, four, five blooms per bunch. They are item 38 and they are $23. So I'm just gonna reach in and stick this kind of in the center, and that's gonna hold that up. There we go. Keep on, I wanna make this a little bit tighter. There we go. So nice and full. You could stop right there, or if you wanna make this a little bit larger, we're gonna add a nice airy thrill. So this is item number 39, the Cream Starburst, Starburst, there we go, Cream Starburst Blooms. This is $14, and these are huge. And love the way the brown really pops against that pink, so I'm gonna kinda spread it out. You gotta do it kinda gentle because they like to grab onto each other. And I'm just gonna reach in again, in the center, tuck this in, spread everything around. There we go. Wonderful spring look here. Beautiful in a bathroom, in a little girl's room. It's just that beautiful feminine pink. Okay, then, if we want to give this a touch of Easter, then a wonderful thing to add is our Easter Bunny door hanger. So it says, Happy Easter. This one, we have only three of these left. I'll give you a quick measurement on this. This is eight inches, eight inch square. And how adorable would it be to take a little bit of that jute twine and hang that bunny on the front. So Easter door hanger, $15, three of those available. So give you a quick recap of this. We've got item 36, the 13 inch tall white wicker vase, $41. Item 37, the fabulous Real Touch Lady Fern, only three of those available, $11. Item 30, I'm sorry, 37. Item 38, the Pink Hydrangea Bunch, this is one bunch you're seeing here, $23. Item 39, also one bunch, this Cream Starburst Blooms, $14. Item 40, this, didn't I say eight inch? Yes, eight inch square, happy Easter. This is actually called a door hanger. This will hang on the door, but we're putting it here on the front of our container. And these are $15, three of these available. It's almost time to tell me if you want to be in the barn or the shop to tour. 
These I didn't do anything with because there really wasn't anything to do with them, but they had sold so quickly this weekend. I wanted to give all of my long distance people an opportunity to see these before they're gone. So these are garden stakes. <clears throat> Item 41, all of these are $5 each. Put it over there so you can read it a little better. It says Herb Garden. These are flamed metal. Again, $5 each. There are eight of these available. Item 42 is the basil steak, and it has some basil leaves on there. The basil steak, also $5. Five of these available. Do you see what I mean? These, we had a bunch of these and they sold like crazy this weekend. Up next is oregano. Oregano, also $5, seven available. Item 44, dill, $5, four available. And last, heart shape. Parsley, I guess I could turn it backwards and then you could actually read it, huh? Parsley, $5 also, 11 of these available, 45. All right, so quick recap on those. To be sure you got your numbers right. Item 41, whoops, wrong one. Item 41, Herb Garden, $5. Item 42, basil, $5. Item 43, oregano. Item 44, dill. And lastly, item 45, parsley. All $5 in low quantity. Okay, anybody have any questions before I take you on a tour? And what do you want to see? Do you want to see barn or do you want to see shop? Also, we are going to be doing some lives each day this week. And it's going to be some March madness. So there's no telling what all we're going to get into. We were discussing it today and we will start tomorrow. So we got one barn, one shop. So we are in the shop now. So I'm going to let you look around a little bit <laughs> and both while everybody kind of decides. So had a wonderful time with everybody this weekend. There's another shop. So we'll try to do a little bit of both. So our round top with pansies in a pot. That is gorgeous and yes it's in here Jane so I'll show you in a second so I'll point out some news and almost gone we have two of this crown left this is one of our largest the Fleur de Lis it is $62 these guys are new we just put them out this weekend they're small See them beside my hand? I'd say probably four inches tall, cast iron, and they look like a chocolate bunny. They're so cute. They are priced on the bottom, $10. Again, cast iron. Um, there is the chick emerging from the Easter egg. The dapper bunny. Really wanted to use this one in the vignette, too. He is just so good-looking, and he would have looked really good with that gray jardinier. But I knew I could ship the other bunny more easily. Um, last two of these available. These sold like crazy. We got them in last week, and we're already down to just two. So it's eucalyptus leaves with the pink berries. I was so gonna use those in my Christmas tree and we sold them all. The factory is not making any more, so 
maybe next year. This is also a brand new round top we just got in with the wings. All of those are $19, and there are two of those available. Um, he will cover you with his feathers. New one that I did not show. This is another new hydrangea color we just got in. So, Jane, do you want one of those or two? There are two available. This is something everybody's been buying lately is the mercury glass and kind of the springy colors and hanging those on their mantle or over a mirror. Love this blue marbled look. Uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Another new one. This is our Real Touch Eucalyptus Ball, and it is gorgeous. And when it is so, so soft. Hey, Lisa Shelton, hope you had fun time on your vacation. This one is $29. Um, definitely getting low on the green... Gosh, went out of my head. Hydrangea, but can't remember what kind. Good. I am glad you did. Um, sold the cloches that were here this weekend. The wire cloches. So we got to redo those. This was the fat rabbit I showed you tonight. And this is the hair version with the super long ears. They look really, really cute together. Um, our last pair of bunny bookends. I even sold the book out from between them. Do you have any of the creamy white hydrangeas left? Yes, we do. I am working my way over there. So let me go ahead and do that and show Jane that round top she wanted to see. These are the new ones right here. Thank you, Teresa. And they practically glow. They look more yellow in this light, and they do have yellow kind of in the throat, but they are definitely a creamy white. Those are, let's see, here they are over here, $6.50. And these are the Real Touch. They are very, very nice. I know, I am so sorry. I'm just afraid that when we try to ship him, he may get damaged because we don't have any styrofoam forms to put around him. What is the item number? You need more of those. Those, I don't have an item number for, so just say um, the white hydrangea, and I'll know what you're talking about. So $6.50 on these, and they're huge. Let's see. We are down to three of this bunny. And the last one of the coordinating standing ones, see him way, whoops, up there on top. There he is. And Jane, I was, these hydrangeas, this is all we have left is what we have in this antique lard can. That is beautiful with a Christmas tree in it in the, Christmas season. This is our last twig trellis. It doesn't look very good right now because I can't spread it out with my other hand. Okay, Jane. Looking for that round top for you. Oh, here it is. I knew I was close. Right there. So that is the pansies. There's either one or two left. I'm not sure. 19. Which blue bottle, Jane? Are you talking about these right here? There's only one size, so that's... Don't have to be concerned on size. This blue bottle is $19. It is a really nice blue. Let me know if that's the correct bottle, um, Jane. All right. Anything else? Anyone wants to see in here before we go to the barn? Um, got it. 
Oh, this is another new one. Lord, oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Got two of those. Our lace edge crown. This is our biggest one. This like fits my head perfectly. Last two of these, $32. This is a brand new stem in the back there, the budding leaf. Love that. Um, was that a candle in the brass container under blue bottle? Yes, it is. I will show you that. The glass globe stands. Can you ship those? Um, one second, Anna. I'll see what... This is the brass container. This is an antique brass pot. Try to let you see where it's been on the stove. Got its little stuff there. It has our bestseller sea salt caramel, 39 ounces. It is got three wicks. It is $75 and can't do the math in my head. 39 times five is how many burn hours you would get from a candle this big. The sea salt is a fabulous, fabulous scent. Uh, Chloe, go ahead and say sold on that pansy uh, pot and we will see if there's a second one. I'm not sure right now. Um, I think, Anna, you are asking about the cloches here. Is this what you're asking about? So, where are you? What state? How far away are you? Um, this one, we could probably ship. It is $39. That's going to be about 16, 17 inches tall. And we could ship the smallest one here. It is 29, but the bigger ones, we do not have proper things to ship those without damaging. Okay. In Tennessee, yeah, we could definitely ship those too to you. The really big ones, I would be concerned that we could get a box big enough to, because, you know, we need a box almost twice the size. Price of the bunny on the mirrored tray has big feet and ears. Bunny on the mirror. Oh, right here. So, he is the same color as the rabbit I showed tonight. He is a smaller version. Here he is. He is $48. Got the one crouching like that, and same size here, licking his paw, also 48. Okay, cute bowl under cloach. Yes, that is really cute. One dozen green and yellow mercury glass ornaments, six of each, you got it, and I'll show those about to go to that bowl, so can easily do that. So here is the compote there that you're looking at. And here is the green and gold mercury glass ornaments that Jenny's asking for. These are $1.25 each or $12 for a dozen. This glass compote, love the colors in this, has not got a price on it. You know that's the way it would be. That is my luck. Uh, soul bunny on the mirrored tray. All right, is there another one of those in here anywhere? I will get back to you on a price on that, Debbie. Actually, why don't I just walk over here and scan this and give you a price because everybody will be um, looking at things Nope, I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to go over there. This is another look at those cream hydrangeas with our new um, hay-scented fern. That's the hay-scented fern. 
we had this container filled with those hydrangeas this weekend and something about the patina on that box and those cream hydrangeas was just spectacular. I was thinking I needed to put that on my dining room table. All right, making my way over here, give you a, and I promise that's not trash in the floor there, that's actually packing materials. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sit you here for just a second and y'all can, let me see if I can tilt this camera the other way. And I'll look at this price for you really quick. I just have to scan it and it will tell me how much this bowl is for Debbie. It is $16, Debbie. So the bowl here that you asked me about is $16. Because they will usually have the barcode on it, but sometimes the price is peeled off. So if I can just get to the scanner, I can give it to you. All right, <clears throat> we still going to the barn? Okay. Quick round here so that you um, have seen everything. Really low on our yellow Real Touch tulips. This is the last of those. So the last of the pink uh, tulip magnolia bundles today. All we have left are the white, and then they've got the pink in the throat with our Real Touch um, asparagus farm. Those are fabulous. This is our enormous crown. We had four of those. We're down to just one. Um, this is one of our newest hydrangeas. Love this color. Um, hmm. This is our cast iron hair. Big feet, gigantic ears. Love him. All right, we're going the back way to the barn. Let me grab my jacket because it is going to be chilly in there. So, we had a tree fall weeks and weeks ago over at the neighbor's, but that's pasture that we share. And then we had the enormous tree fall in the backyard, and we had another one that was about to fall on my trailer. Oh, have you seen these? Love those. So, Vanna and friends, price of the mirrored sconces that hold candles far end of the room. Those are 182, Sue. So, Vanna has been chainsawing all weekend, trying to handle all that. And he cut up all the wood from that tree that had been... Um, in the pasture for weeks, got it all stacked up. In less than 24 hours, the cows have pushed down every bit of that wood. They were all out there rubbing on it and using it as a scratching post and making a huge mess. They have been bad monkeys. You always hear me talk about them and how much they get into. Well, they are in trouble with him now because they have made an enormous mess. Okay, we are in the barn. Sold a piece of furniture here. Oh, and Lila, I had meant to message you, but don't think I did. Please do get me a price on those um, B thingies. No, we have not named it yet because I haven't been able to tell yet if it's a boy or girl. It's been staying too far away, so got to come up with a name. Usually, we are big on food names. We have whoopie pie and cream puff and pudding, sprinkles and all that stuff, so we uh, no longer have the one that was... Um, Pedophore, so we could recycle that name, but let me know what kind of names y'all have, and uh, we'll come up with a name for that new calf. 
been really selling these um, moss mushrooms. I see, let's see over here, two smalls left. These are the largest. We got four larges, two smalls. Um, so that white starburst I showed you earlier. Oh, shortcake. I like shortcake. And instead of strawberry shortcake, it's chocolate shortcake. That's it, shortcake. Thank you, Sharon. That works for boy or girl, shortcake. Yep, that is the new baby's name, shortcake. Love it. I knew if I asked y'all, you would come up with something good. You have to send us pictures of what you did with your moss mushroom, Debbie. We'd like to see it. This is a new Real Touch fern we got in called Plumosis. Love that one. So here, it's more of the drawers like I showed you tonight. So that's the triple and that's the single. Tonight I showed you a double. Uh, down to four of these flower seed scrolls. They would be great indoor or outdoor. They're kind of a fabric-y canvas kind of thing. Um, did a post yesterday asking you about the flavors of Piper and Lime tea, Piper and Lime, Piper and Leaf tea you wanted. So I'm about to reorder and have that here for a lavender event. We'll be sampling birthday cake, which has lavender in it. That's why we chose that for the lavender event. So if you have some favorites you've been wanting, let us know so we have time to order that and get it in for you. These are the pink hydrangeas I showed tonight. I showed it with the cream starburst, but that's the pink starburst. And it's our summer round tops with the shells. And there's also one with a sand dollar. Just got in this fabulous laurel eucalyptus. It is Gorgeous. This is another look at that uh, hay-scented fern. And we have all these beautiful moss containers. We've got three sizes in the square and um, three sizes in the round. Thank you, Debbie, for keeping me on my toes. And guess what? The ones in here are large. I am just... Not on it tonight, am I? Well, I will look it up as soon as I get off and uh, post it. I couldn't come up with the correct name when I was looking for it, so I couldn't find it. So, shame on me. No excuse, right? Just shame on me. And our fabulous cabbage roses in the blush. Love this round top. I'm all about cloches and terrariums, so love that. Price on the vine vase. Um, do you mean this, Sharon? Tell me the name on the tag, and I can look it up. There's not a name on the tag. That's the problem. That is the problem. Yes, Sharon, I am said I'm being an idiot tonight. I didn't come in here and find out there wasn't any on here either, so I've got to. Um, those are new that we just put out, and they got put out without a tag, and I got burned. Love the little blue terracotta bunnies all in a row, like little bunny soldiers. So cute. Okay, and um, sorry, whomever asked me about the lavender, that will be on my list tomorrow. I will make up a lavender arrangement, and I will get on live and show it since I told you I would, and I forgot. 
mush brain after the weekend. Need till Tuesday to get myself under control. All right, guys, anything else you wanted to ask about in here? If so, let me know. If not, I'm going to hop off and get a price on that basket and hurry it up and get it for you guys since I messed up and didn't get that. So after we sign off, you can still watch the replay and you can still purchase. You can still ask questions. Maybe tomorrow before we get back to you on the questions, but we will answer you. Tomorrow we will start pulling all of your orders. So be sure we have your email address because we won't pull your order until we do. And we'll keep passing it on to the next person. So you don't want to miss out by being late getting us your email address if you're a first time buyer. If you are someone who sometimes wants shipping and sometimes not, let us know so that we can go ahead and get you packed up so we get it to you sooner if you need shipping. Otherwise, we will be here Thursday and Friday as usual, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then in two weeks, we'll have our wonderful lavender event. In four weeks, we will have our spring barn and garden extravaganza. And super excited to have Unique Outdoors here. They're bringing some live plants for you. And we'll have some more garden items in. And we'll all shake off this cold winter and head on into some glorious spring. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you soon.